Good morning. It's three o'clock. Yes, in the morning of January 1, 2021, the first day of the year. This is a very special day for me. It's the birthday of my beloved mother, Lecerna Romerica Abunda. And it's the beginning of a new year amidst this pandemic. And as I begin 2021, I just thought about this today. I wanted to do something I haven't done in the past. As a matter of fact, I wanted to do something that I didn't imagine I would do. It's not very easy to say, have a happy and healthy new year. How can one be happy when there is a scare hovering over our heads? How can one be healthy in the presence of this virulent virus? Personally, I'm hopeful about 2021. I am hopeful that COVID will end. I'm hoping that we will have a better year. Yes, I'm hoping for the best. I am doing something that I didn't think I would be doing. And what am I doing? I would like to cross as many bridges as I can this year and in the years to come, wherever there are bridges. The question is, why am I doing this? One, because I'd like to be able to turn around negative feelings, thoughts into things that are positive. And that's symbolic when you cross a bridge. That's my first reason. I would probably be crossing bridges as a form of prayer. Maybe there'll be times when I would be crossing bridges to make a wish. A wish for a better world, for a kinder people. A wish for peace. I may be crossing bridges to deliver a message. A message of love, maybe. Number five, I'd like to be able to let go of things that need to be released. Like pain, grief. I'm also excited about crossing bridges because I'd like to be able to make statements, brave promises, promising to be a better citizen, and many others. Let me start with these seven reasons. I am excited because I didn't imagine I would be doing this, because this is something I have not done this year and in the years to come. But I am decided that in 2021, I'm going to start crossing bridges. It is something new. It is something that is exciting. It is uncharted territory for me. Join my journey. Thank you. This is our first bridge, the Loom Bridge. What does the Loom Bridge mean to me? This is the first bridge I came to know. This is the bridge in the middle of our small city of Borongan, Eastern Samar. Underneath is the Loom River. I do not remember any point in my life when the river was turbulent. There's always been quiet. This is the first bridge of the many bridges that I will be crossing over because this is the bridge where it all started that in many ways tells my story. This is what I'm going to do. I should be crossing this bridge barefoot so that I am directly connected to the earth. I want to feel the ground that should connect to my body and soul. So tonight I'm crossing the Loom Bridge because I'd like to deliver a message. I'd like to make a statement of gratitude. Thank you, Loom Bridge, Loom River. Thank you, Borongan City. This is where it all started. I am about to cross the Borongan Bridge. Beneath is the Borongan River. Why am I crossing the Borongan Bridge? This walk is dedicated to my home network, ABS-CBN. Thank you for allowing me to do the job that I love the most. And thank you for 21 years, hoping that we will be able to come back. So may kasamang dasal po itong aking lakad na ito. Looking forward to some of the most exciting years, not just for me, pero sa lahat ng aking kasamahan sa ABS-CBN.
In times of doubt, sana maniwala ako. Sa mga pagkakataon namang ako'y natatakot, sana'y kumapit lamang ako sa Diyos. In moments when I become paranoid, I want some clarity. Amidst negativity, sana dalhin ako doon sa lugar na positibo ang hangin, ang vibe, at pag nanghihina ako, I want to claim strength. Ito yung mga dahilan why I want to cross this bridge. The Canubing Bridge, one of the bridges of my home city, dito po sa Eastern Sun. I continue to walk barefoot because this is my birthplace. Gusto ko koneksyon namin diretso. We are at the Maypangdan Bridge. Bakit tatawirin ko ang tulay na ito? Because at the end of the bridge, I'm hoping that there is a better understanding of LGBT people around the world to emphasize that message that LGBT rights are human rights. I'm about to cross Soribao Bridge. Ito po ang pinakamahabang bridge ng Borongan City, Eastern Samar. Why am I crossing this bridge? Because I'm praying to God. Nasanay matapos na po ang COVID, nasanay ang mga Boronganon, mga Estehanon, ang mga Pilipino, at ang lahat ng sangkatauhan sa mundo ay ligtas sa COVID-19. I'm walking and I'm crossing this bridge in prayer. Thank you, Lord. Dito sa Borongan, ito po ang tinatawag namin na detour bridge. Bago ho ito compared to the Loom Bridge. Short story lang. I have this friend, his name is Arnold. He just came from a bad breakup. He's actually in the middle of unbearable grief because of love that was probably not meant. I'm going to cross that bridge, hoping and wishing that sometime soon he will be able to move on and laugh again and maybe, and just maybe, love. Okay. Arnold, itong pagtawid na ito ng tulay na ito is for you. This is the last bridge I'm crossing here in Borongan City, Eastern Samar. It's probably one of the most meaningful. Ang tawag po sa tulay na ito ay Bayaran Bridge. Hindi ko po alam ang background kung bakit tinawag na Bayaran Bridge. But I'd like to cross this bridge in memory of my lovely, loving mother. She was actually a very funny woman. Siguro kung kasama ko siya ngayon, tawa ng tawa yun. She was really funny. She loved to tell jokes. Pero dadalawa lang po ang jokes ng nanay. When she passed on, sabi ko, how do I deal with this kind of pain? Only for me to realize that I'm okay with the pain. I just pray to God for strength. But this is the kind of pain that continues to connect me with my mother. So, I'm going to do my bridge walk for nanay and for my family, for my sister, Congresswoman Maria Fe, Romerica Abunda. This is for my partner, Bong Quintana. This is for my niece, Lani. My nephew Jake and Glorieta and Vic and Onika, that God may wrap them with His mercy and love, keep them away from harm, and end COVID-19. Ito po ang dahilan kung bakit ko tatawirin ang Bayaran Bridge. From the bottom of my heart, on behalf of my family, 
Happy New Year. Be kind, stay blessed, make your nanny proud.